Hello children, I am Poonam Bagga welcoming you in your maths class. We are studying chapter 4 quadratic equations. In our last video, we started exercise 4.3 and completed its first three questions. Today we will be doing question number 4 to 8 of the same exercise. So be ready with your copy and pen and join me as we start with question number 4. It says the sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's ages in years 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. So here we are talking about Rahman and his two ages have been considered here. One age is 3 years ago, it has been taken and the next one is age 5 years from now. And the sum of the reciprocals of these two ages is given to be 1 by 3. And we have to find his present age. So, because his present age is unknown, we start a variable x denote start karte hai. Let the present age of Rahman be x years. Then, Rahman's age 3 years ago, it was how much? Since we are talking about age 3 years ago, we will minus minus the present age. And then, 3 years ago, age was x minus 3 years. Then Rahman's age after 5 years. So, abhi present age hai x years and after 5 years we will be adding 5 more years and so x plus 5 years it will be his age after 5 years. Now, it has been said that the sum of the reciprocals of these two ages it is 1 by 3. Now, how do we find the reciprocal? Ye age hai x minus 3 years Isko haap is tarah se consider kar sakte hai aur reciprocal ka matlab numerator aur denominator aapas mein exchange ho jate hai. To reciprocal iska ho jayega 1 upon x minus 3. Isi tarah se x plus 5 ka reciprocal ho jayega 1 upon x plus 5. Aur in dono ka sum diya hua hai hume 1 by 3. So let us write it. According to the question, sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's ages 3 years ago and 5 years after, it is given as 1 upon x minus 3 plus 1 upon x plus 5. Or ye sum hume diya hai equal to 1 by 3 in the question. I hope this equation is clear. Now we will simplify this by taking the LCM of these two expressions in the denominator. In dono ka LCM lenge multiply karke x minus 3 and x plus 5. Or numerator may ye cross may multiply ho jayenge. Dekhi aap x plus 5 into 1, it will be x plus 5. Or beach may hai plus, to bracket na bhi lagaye, to bhi kuch galat nahi hona hai. Isli hum bina bracket lagaye hi dono expressions likh rahe hai. Then x minus 3 into 1, it will be x minus 3. Yaha hai 1 upon 3. Okay. Next what? You will see in the numerator we have 2x plus 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. Or denominator may hum in dono ko multiply karenge. Kaise multiply karenge? We know we can take it as x square plus yaha par minus 3 or 5 ka sum aega. Dekhi aap. Minus 3 plus 5 into x. Or yaha par hum minus 3 into 5 karenge. To yaha to ho gaya sum. Or yaha par a gaya product. Isse hume mil gaya x square plus 2x minus 15 or isi ko hum yaha likh lete hain x square plus 2x minus 15 and this as a whole is equal to 1 by 3 getting the point now again we will be cross multiplying ye 3 yaha upar multiply ho jayega aur ye yaha upar 1 se multiply hoga so let us write it as 3 into 2x plus 2 equal to 1 into x square plus 2x minus 15. Yahan par phir se hum simplify kare. Toh hume kya milega dekhi aap? Ye ho jayega 6x plus 6 equal to x square plus 2x minus 15. Next what? Take both these terms to the RHS. Toh ye hai yahan par x square plus 2x toh hai hi. Ye 6x yahan aakar minus 6x ho gaya. Phir humare paas hai minus 15. और ये plus 6 इधर आकर minus 6 हो गया और क्योंकि यहाँ कुछ नहीं बचा है तो हम लिख सकते हैं equal to 0. Next we will take these like terms together and get x square minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. Let us write it once again on the next page x square minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. 
Now this is a quadratic equation and now we can solve it by either of the methods. We can use the method of factorization, we can solve by using the method of completing the square, even we can use quadratic formula. Now it is up to you. Here we will be solving by using quadratic formula. So we write here this is a quadratic equation comparing it with the general form of a quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we get a as 1 b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to minus 21. Now by quadratic formula, I hope you have learnt it very well by now. We have x equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Let us place these values in this expression minus b. So, 1 minus to formula ka aur 1 minus hume milega b ki value se aur wo hai minus 4. Then plus minus under root minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a. a is 1 and c is minus 21 upon 2 into a which is 1. This will be equal to 4 minus minus ho gaya plus plus minus under root minus 4 square it is 16 or yaha minus minus ho jayega plus 4 into 21 it will be 84 and in the denominator we have 2. This is again equal to 4 plus minus under root 16 plus 84 it is 100 and here we have 2. Next what? This will give you 4 plus minus root 100 is 10. And here we have 4 plus minus 10 upon 2. This is giving us x. Now we will get two values for x. This implies x is either equal to 4 plus 10 upon 2 or x is equal to 4 minus 10 upon 2. This gives us x equal to 14 by 2 that is equal to 7 or x is equal to minus 6 by 2 and this is equal to minus 3. So, here we are getting two values for x, 7 and minus 3. But x is the present age of Rahman and it cannot be negative. So, we will neglect this value and we will consider this value 7. We write here, since the age cannot be negative, Rahman's present age is equal to 7 years. And now, you can place this value in the equation and check whether we are getting the LHS and RHS equal. If they are getting equal, then the answer is correct. Okay? So, you can check your answer also. We have one more question, question number 5. In a class test, the sum of Shifali's marks in mathematics and English is 30. Had she got 2 marks more in mathematics and 3 marks less in English, the product of their marks would have been 210. Find her marks in the two subjects. So, here one girl Shifali has given test and she scored a total of 30 marks in maths and English. Maths mein aur English mein dono mein mila kar Shifali ko 30 marks mile hain. Aur ab hume yaha ye nahi bataya hai ki alag alag dono subjects mein kitne marks hain. To hum maan kar chalte hain ki maan lije maths mein x marks mile Shifali ko aur tab baaki jo bach gaye 30 mein se wo marks ho gaye English mein. So, marks in English, it will be 30 minus x. Then it is given that had she got 2 marks more in maths, agar usse maths mein 2 marks aur milte, tab marks kitne ho jate? x plus 2 marks in maths aur 3 marks less in English. Abhi jo marks hai, isse 3 marks kam milte, tab kitne marks ho jate dekhi aap? 30 minus x minus 3. और ये हो गया 30 minus 3, 27 minus x. ये हो गए नई सिचुएशन में मैथ्स में मार्क्स और ये इंग्लिश में. और अब हमें दिया है कि इन दोनों मार्क्स का प्रोडक्ट है 210. 
यहां से हमें एक इक्वेशन मिलेगी और हम उसे सॉल्व करके ये मार्क्स पता कर सकते हैं सो हियर वी हैव बीन आस्ट फाइंड हर मार्क्स इन द टू सब्जेक्ट्स वी राइट ऑल दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स लेट अस हैव इट लेट शिफालीज मार्क्स इन मैथमेटिक्स बी एक्स देन हर मार्क्स इन इंग्लिश इट विल बी थर्टी माइनस एक्स एंड नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन द मार्क्स इन मैथ्स x plus two as two marks have been increased in maths and in English three marks less so thirty minus x minus three and the product is equal to two hundred ten. This will give us x plus two or yahan ho gaya twenty seven minus x. This is equal to two hundred ten. Now multiply these two expressions. Here we have x then twenty seven minus x. Plus two into twenty-seven minus x. This is equal to two hundred ten. यहाँ से हो गया twenty-seven x minus x square plus two into twenty-seven. It is fifty-four minus two x equal to two hundred ten. Then here we have these two like terms: twenty-seven x and minus two x. We can write it minus x square and twenty-seven minus two. It will be plus twenty-five x. Here we have plus fifty four and bring this two hundred ten to the LHS. It will become minus two hundred ten and then equal to zero. बस अब यहाँ पर देखिए आप minus x square हो गया plus twenty five x है और इन दोनों को आप subtract करेंगे तो आपको मिलेगा minus one fifty six and this is equal to zero. Now you see that x square is negative here. तो हम चाहते हैं ये positive हो जाए. इसके लिए हम इस इक्वेशन को माइनस वन से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे और तब सभी टर्म्स के साइन चेंज हो जाएंगे सो नाउ इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस इक्वेशन बाय माइनस वन व्हाट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स प्लस वन फिफ्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो देखिए आप इस इक्वेशन को हमने माइनस से मल्टीप्लाई किया तो ये माइनस से प्लस हो गया ये प्लस से माइनस और ये माइनस से प्लस अब यहां पर आप देखिए ये एक क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन है लेट एस राइट दिस इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन अगेन यू कैन चूज एनी मेथड टू सॉल्व इट हियर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग बाय क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला सो कंपेयरिंग इट विद ए एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस बी एक्स Plus c equal to zero, we get the values of a, b, and c. A is one here. B is equal to minus twenty five, the coefficient of x, and c is the constant one fifty six. From quadratic formula, we will get the solution. By quadratic formula, x is given as minus b plus minus under root b square minus four ac upon two a. Place the values minus and b is minus twenty five. So two minus are here. Plus minus under root minus twenty five whole square minus four into a is one and one fifty six here. C. Now. In the denominator, we have two into one. ये हो गया plus twenty five minus minus plus. यहाँ पर है plus minus under root minus twenty five square. It is six twenty five minus four into one fifty six. It is six twenty four. And here we have two. This gives us twenty five plus minus under root one upon two. यहाँ से आप देखिए. Square root of one is one itself, so we will get this equal to twenty-five plus minus one upon two. From here we get two values for x. This implies x is equal to either twenty-five plus one by two, or x is equal to twenty-five minus one by two. This gives us x equal to twenty-six by two, that is thirteen, or X is equal to twenty-four by two, which is equal to twelve. So here we are getting two values for x, thirteen or twelve, and x is the marks in maths that Shifali obtained. So we can write if x is equal to twelve, 
then marks in mathematics it is 12 and marks in English it will be 30 minus 12 and this is equal to 18. So, now when Shifali ko maths mein 12 marks, mile, to English mein marks hai 18 and if we take x as 13, then marks in mathematics it will be 13 and marks in English it will be 30 minus 13 which is equal to 17. So, here we are having two cases. Got the answer and again you can check your answer by placing these values in the equation. Next we have question number 6. The diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meters more than the shorter side. If the longer side is 30 meters more than the shorter side, find the sides of the field. So, here we are talking about a rectangular field. Let us take its picture. Let this be the rectangular field. Yaha diya hai ki jo diagonal hai is field ka wo hai shorter side se 60 meters more. और जो longer side है वो है shorter side से 30 meters more तो दोनों ही shorter side पर dependent है और हम चलते हैं इस shorter side को x मान कर let this be x meters as in the figure now it has been given the longer side is 30 meters more so this will be x plus 30 meters and the diagonal this will be 60 meters more so this is x plus 60 meters let us name it as a b C and D. We know that the angle of a rectangle is 90 degrees. Now, this triangle ABC is a right angled triangle and how are its sides connected? They are related by the Pythagoras theorem which says that the hypotenuse square is equal to the perpendicular square plus base square. This relation ko use karte huye, hume a quadratic equation milegi. Usko solve karenge aur easily fir hum ye sides pata kar sakte hain. Let us now take the help of statements and write let the shorter side of the rectangular field be x meters. Then longer side of the field will be x plus 30 meters because it is 30 meters more and the diagonal of the field will be x plus 60 meters. I hope it is clear. Now, in triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem, we will have x square plus x plus 30 whole square equal to x plus 60 whole square. Aap dekhenge is figure mein, ye hai hypotenuse, ye hai perpendicular side aur ye hai base side. To yehi relation use karte huye Pythagoras theorem, hum ye result par pahunch rahe hai. Now, we will expand this square and this square. This will give us x square. Yaha ho gaya x square plus 2 into 30 into x. It will be 60x. I am writing it directly and then 30 square it will be 900. Here we will have x square plus 2 into 60 into x. It will be 120x plus 60 square it will be 3600. Ab in sabhi terms ko LHS me le aate hain. Ye ho gaya 2x square. और यहां से x square आएगा तो minus x square, then plus 60x और यहां से ये minus 120x हो जाएगा, LHS में आने पर ये है plus 900 और 3600 यहां आएगा तो हो जाएगा minus 3600 और अब RHS में कुछ नहीं है equal to 0. This will give us x square, 2 minus 1 is 1x square, 60 minus 120, this is minus 60x. And here 900 minus 3600, you will get it minus 2700. This is equal to 0. And now this is again a quadratic equation. We write this is a quadratic equation. And again we will compare it with the general form of a quadratic equation. Comparing it with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we will get the values of a, b and c. a is equal to 1 as you can see, b is equal to minus 60 and c is equal to minus 2700. Here we use karenge quadratic formula or x ki do values le kar aayenge. By quadratic formula,
we get x equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Yahan values rakhte hain minus b, b is minus 60 plus minus under root we will have minus 60 whole square minus 4 into a is 1 into minus 2700 upon 2 into 1. This will give us 60 minus minus plus ho gaya plus minus under root this will be 3600 and here minus minus will become plus here we will have 4 into 27 4 7s are 28 and 2 carried it will be 10800 upon 2. Add them 60 plus minus under root this will give us 8 and 6 14 here we have 1 double 4 and double 0 upon 2. Now what will be the square root of this number think it over till I write 60 plus minus now 144 its square root is 12 and this is representing 100 two zeros represents 100 and so the square root of 100 is 10 so ye ho gaya 120 and in the denominator we have 2. Now we will easily get two values for x this gives us x equal to 60 plus 120 upon 2 or x equal to 60 minus 120 upon 2. From here we get it as 180 upon 2 or x is equal to minus 60 upon 2. This gives us x equal to 90 or x equal to minus 30 and x is the length of the shorter side or side to negative nahi ho sakti aap dekhi ye negative figure aa raha hai to side ki length negative nahi ho sakti isliye hum is value ko reject kar denge aur ye wali value consider karenge we write it since the side of the field cannot be negative we take x equal to 90 and therefore the length of the shorter side will be 90 meters because we had taken the length of the shorter side to be x meters in the beginning to wohi ab 90 meters ho gai and the length of the longer side will be 90 plus 30 this is equal to 120 meters to ye ho gai 30 meters more than the shorter side so this is the solution to this question you can rewind the video and check it once again if you have missed it somewhere we take the next question question 7 the difference of squares of two numbers is 180. The square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. Find the two numbers. Yahan baat ho rahi hai do numbers ki aur ye diya hai ki unke squares ka difference hai 180 aur square of the smaller number hai 8 times the larger number. To kyunki hum difference le rahe hai to iska matlab dono numbers equal nahi hai ek bada hai ek chota hai. Hum maan kar chalte hai. let the two numbers be x and y such that x is greater than y. x humne liya hai bada number aur y hai chota number. Ab according to the question difference of squares, to pehle hum lenge bade number ka square that is x square aur chote number ka square ho gaya y square aur inka difference hai equal to 180. Let this be the first equation. Iske baad humne diya hai square of the smaller number. Smaller number hai y or uska square ho gaya y square. This is, is represents equal to, this is equal to 8 times, times ka matlab multiply 8 into the larger number or larger number hai x. So, ye ho gaya 8 into x that is 8x. So, this is 8 times the larger number. Which number? The square of the smaller number is equal to 8 times the larger number. Let this be equation 2. Ab is y square ki value ko 8x ko hum equation 1 mein substitute kar denge aur tab hume milegi a quadratic equation. We write here substituting equation 2 in equation 1. We get x square minus ab ye y square ki jagah hum rakh rahe hain 8x equal to 180 
आई बात समझ में देखिए आप वाई स्क्वायर है एट एक्स और इस इक्वेशन में वाई स्क्वायर की जगह हमने लिख लिया एट एक्स तो ये बन गई एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स इक्वल टू वन एट्टी बस अब इस वन एट्टी को हम एल एच एस में ले आते हैं और फिर सॉल्व करते हैं सो वी विल गेट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स माइनस वन एट्टी इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन दिस इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन and therefore by comparing it with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 we get the values of a b and c a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 8 and c is equal to minus 1 t by quadratic formula you will see that it is being used again and again x is given as minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 ac upon 2a placing these values x will be equal to minus and b is minus 8 plus minus under root minus 8 whole square minus 4 into 1 into minus 180t upon 2 into 1. यहां पर ये नेगेटिव फिगर है और दो साइन हम एक साथ नहीं लिखते हैं बीच में एक ब्रैकेट जरूर लगाते हैं अगर दो साइन एक साथ आ रहे हो तो यहां मल्टीप्लाई और माइनस इनको हमने एक ब्रैकेट को यूज करते हुए सेपरेट कर दिया है इसलिए नेगेटिव फिगर को ध्यान रखिएगा ब्रैकेट में रखना है नाउ दिस विल गिव अस माइनस माइनस प्लस एट प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट दिस इज सिक्सटी फोर माइनस माइनस हो गया प्लस एंड एटीन इंटू फोर इट इज सेवन टी टू एंड वन जीरो अपॉन टू दिस विल गिव अस एट प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट एट दीज टू नंबर इट विल बी फोर हियर देन वी हैव सिक्स एंड टू एट एंड देन सेवन अपॉन टू नाउ वी विल फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेवन एटी फोर एंड टू फाइंड दिस वी विल यूज द डिविजन मेथड लेट एस राइट द नंबर पेयर बनाएंगे ये फर्स्ट पेयर और सेकेंड पेयर में एक ही डिजिट रहेगा Now we will think of a square number less than seven, or who have four? It is two square. Two two is a four. Three three is a nine. Big square number hai, par wo seven se bada ho jayega. Isliye humne two two is a four liya hai. Subtract. We will have three. Or ye eighty four pura pair copy karenge. Yaha hoga two ka double figure. That is four. Or ab four ke aage ek digit aur usi se multiply karna hai. To aap dekhiye four ke aage kya lena chahiye aur usi se multiply karein. Last mein hamare paas aa raha hai four. तो टू स्क्वायर फोर पे एंड होता है और इसी तरह से एट स्क्वायर भी फोर पे एंड होता है तो लेट अस टेक इट एज एट 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 जो सिक्सटी फोर देन थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्स इट इज थर्टी एट तो एट लेने से हमें रिमाइंडर जीरो मिल रहा है सो द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेवन एटी फोर इट इज ट्वेंटी एट वी कैन नाउ राइट इट एज एट प्लस माइनस ट्वेंटी एट अपॉन टू फ्रॉम हियर वी विल गेट टू वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स This implies x is equal to eight plus twenty eight upon two, or x is equal to eight minus twenty eight upon two. This gives us x equal to twenty eight plus eight. It is thirty six upon two, or x is equal to minus twenty upon two. This gives us x equal to eighteen, or x equal to minus ten. Getting the point here. Now, if we take the value of x, then recall that we had taken the square of the smaller number as eight times x. ये हमारी equation two थी from equation number two. Y square is equal to eight x. और अगर हम यहाँ पर x की value रखते हैं minus ten, तो ये हो गया minus eighty. पर ये क्या मिल रहा है हमें? Y square is equal to minus eighty. और किसी भी रियल नंबर का स्क्वायर तो नेगेटिव नहीं हो सकता इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई टू पॉजिटिव नंबर्स देन आल्सो वी गेट अ पॉजिटिव नंबर एंड इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई टू नेगेटिव नंबर्स देन आल्सो वी गेट अ पॉजिटिव वैल्यू तो यहां पर एक एरर आ गया है और इसलिए हम एक्स की ये वैल्यू डिस्कार्ड कर देंगे और एक्स को लेंगे इक्वल टू एटीन सो वी राइट हियर इफ वी टेक एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टेन देन द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द स्मॉलर नंबर विल बी नेगेटिव विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल so we will take x equal to this number which is 18
and then from equation 2 what will be the value of y y square will be 8 into 18 because y square is equal to 8x and now this will be equal to 144 this gives us y equal to plus minus 12 kyunki jab hum square root lenge dono taraf to 144 ka square root ho jayega plus ya minus 12 aur y square ka square root ho gaya y this gives us that the numbers are 18 and 12 or 18 and minus 12 ye hai wo do numbers Theke? So, this is the solution to this question. We take question number 8. A train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 kilometers per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. Yahan par ek train ki baat ho rahi hai aur uski speed hume pata karni hai. Aur diya hai ki train travel kar rahi hai 360 kilometers. So, we think that the speed of train is x kilometers per hour. Then, there is a condition in the question that if the speed is 5 kilometers per hour, then how much is the speed of speed? x plus 5 kilometers per hour. And then, the time is 1 hour less. So, how much time is the time? You can see that we will use the formula here. Time equal to distance upon speed. Distance is 360 and speed is x kilometers per hour. Distance is 360 and speed is x kilometers per hour. तो टाइम पहले तो लग रहा था 360 अपॉन एक्स आर्स और अब नई कंडीशन में जब स्पीड बढ़ गई है तो ऑब्वियसली टाइम कम लगेगा और कितना कम लग रहा है वन आर लेस तो पहले टाइम था 360 अपॉन एक्स इतना टाइम लग रहा था पहले और अब जब स्पीड बढ़ गई है तो वन आर लेस करके ये हो गया नया टाइम Getting the point और अब हम इन्हीं को use करते हुए एक equation बनाएंगे और फिर उसको solve करेंगे. Let us write all this. Let the speed of the train be x kilometers per hour. Then distance travelled by the train it has been given equal to 360 kilometers. Time taken to cover this distance कैसे निकालेंगे? It is given by distance upon speed. और डिस्टेंस है 360 और स्पीड है x तो ये हो गया 360 अपॉन x आर्स देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिवन कंडीशन इंक्रीज्ड स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन अब स्पीड बढ़ गई है 5 किलोमीटर पर आर ज्यादा हो गई है सो इट विल बी x प्लस 5 किलोमीटर्स पर आर एंड नाउ द टाइम विल बी 1 आर लेस पहले था टाइम 360 अपॉन x और अब लेस 1 so, this is the new time. Now, we will be connecting these two. Kaise? We know that speed into time, this is equal to distance. So, now we will take the speed as x plus 5 or time lenge 360 upon x minus 1 and this is equal to the distance which is the same 360 kilometers. Let us take the new page. Yes, speed is x plus 5, time is 360 upon x minus 1 or ye hai equal to 360 kilometers the distance. Now, we will simplify this expression first. Ye hai x plus 5. और यहाँ पर हम LCM ले रहे हैं x और ऊपर हो जाएगा 360 और ये x one से multiply हो जाएगा हो जाएगा minus x here and here we have equal to 360 ये वाला x यहाँ से cross में 360 से multiply हो जाएगा और यहाँ बचेगा x plus 5 and 360 minus x this is equal to 360 into x 360x इन दोनों को multiply करेंगे taking x here and then 360 minus x plus 5 into 360 minus x. This is equal to 360x. Open the bracket. 360x minus x into x is x square plus 5, 6 is 30, 3 carried it's 18 and 1, 0 minus 5x equal to 360x. Okay. Sabko khol diya humne aur I hope it is clear to you. अब आप देखिए 360x 360x 
दोनों सेम टर्म्स हैं कैंसिल कर दीजिए दोनों ही तरफ है ये इक्वेशन के और अगर हम इसे यहाँ एल में लाते तो माइनस में हो जाता तो तब कैंसिल हो जाता नाउ रिमेनिंग इज माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस एटीन हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो ये माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर को हम पॉजिटिव करना चाहते हैं तो पूरी इक्वेशन को मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे माइनस वन से और हमें मिलेगा एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस एटीन हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो वी टेक इट ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस एटीन हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन दिस इज अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड हियर इफ वी कंपेयर इट विद द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो वी विल गेट ए इक्वल टू वन बी इक्वल टू फाइव एंड सी इक्वल टू माइनस एटीन हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट बाय क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला राइट इट हियर x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Place in the values minus and it is 5 here b plus minus under root 5 square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus 1800 upon 2 into 1. This gives us minus 5 plus minus under root. 5 square is 25 minus minus ho gaya plus 4 into 18 it is 72 and double zero upon 2 this gives us minus 5 plus minus under root 7225 upon 2 now we will find its square root and again we will use the division method let us write the number here form the pairs piche se pair banayenge first pair second pair 72, 72 से छोटा स्क्वायर नंबर सोचेंगे तो आप जानते हैं 8 स्क्वायर इज 64 जो इससे छोटा है और अगला स्क्वायर है 9 स्क्वायर विच इज 81 वो बड़ा हो जाएगा सो वी टेक इट एज 8 एट जा सिक्सटी फोर ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर इट्स एट सो हियर वी विल हैव 8 कॉपी दिस डाउन 25 फाइव यहाँ हो गए 8 का डबल 16 16 के आगे एक डिजिट और उसी से मल्टीप्लाई करना है लास्ट में फाइव है तो फाइव ही लेकर चलते हैं और देखते हैं क्या मिलता है फाइव फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फाइव टू कैरेड थर्टी टू थ्री एंड एट हियर द रिमेंडर इज जीरो सो वी हैव माइनस फाइव प्लस माइनस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ सेवन डबल टू फाइव इट इज एटी फाइव अपॉन टू दिस गिव्स अस टू वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव प्लस एटी फाइव अपॉन टू और x is equal to minus five minus eighty five upon two. Now x is equal to eighty five minus five. It's eighty upon two, or x is equal to minus ninety upon two. This gives us x equal to forty, or x equal to minus forty five. But x is the speed of the train, and it cannot be negative. So we will neglect it, or इग्नोर इट ठीक है तो x की वैल्यू हो गई 40. वी राइट इट हियर स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव देयर फोर द स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन इज 40 किलोमीटर पर आर दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर सो दीज वर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर टू एट फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट थ्री आई होप ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी मच क्लियर टू यू एंड अगेन यू कैन प्रैक्टिस टू गेट परफेक्शन सून वी विल मीट विद द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज टिल देन हैव अ नाइस डे एंड गुड बाय